in the name of the Father, and, and of, of the Son, and, and of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And, and dwelt, dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mother of God, God, pray for God. us sinners, now and at the hour God. of our death. Amen. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech Teach you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts. hearts. That, that we, through the incarnation of Christ, Christ thy Son, son was made, made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, resurrection through the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the divine assistance remain always with us. And with the souls of the faithful departed, through, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. The angels go before. What a mighty God, what a mighty God, what a mighty God, we serve the angels bow, the angels bow before him, what a mighty God, we serve, what a mighty God, what a mighty God, what a mighty God, Come to worship, praise to be alive and to be. I am delivered. I am delivered. I was lost, I was lost, he lost in, sin, in the valley of death, I am delivered. Two hands in the air, let me see you. 
It's a new day, a new dawn, a new beginning, a new creation, a new day, a new day falling, no time for stalling, wake up, don't call it, let's go, let's go, wake up, everyone is sleeping, meet me in the church, meet me in the church, new inspiration, new inspiration, no contemplation let's go let's go wake up everyone who's in bed with me in the Amen. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we glorify. Lord, we thank you for worship. And what we are, Lord, we are Caribbean people. We worship you and praise. And we praise. Lord, we glorify and we magnify your name. We come to worship. In your name, our own style, in our Caribbean style. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion, God's Holy Spirit be with you always. And Good evening, brothers and sisters. We welcome Paige and her family who has come to give to her mom who have died. Our RCI candidates, can you give them a round of applause? Who have come to this urn and to join. And our beloved Gail, a theologian, all the way from Rock Road, United States of Rock Road. So we thank God for worship. Gail, that's how we do it, girl. We do it wee wee, okay? So we just bow our heads and thank God for the freedom and the opportunity to participate in the very life of God, in his work. Today, there were villages. He had to reproach. He had to warn because they were not open to repentance and they were full of ingratitude. And we know that the Mass, Eucharist means Thanksgiving. People avoid it because we don't want to be full of gratitude, but we have to thank God in spite of, in the midst of the pain and suffering. We just thank and praise him in all things. Because ingratitude and ungratefulness is worse than witchcraft. We bow our heads and bring sin when we're not open to repent. And when God said, woe unto us, alas unto us, means he wants to chide us because he cares for us, but he wants to knock our knuckles. How have we sinned? How have we offended this God? We have to make a personal, spiritual responsibility it can't be we, it can't be the choir, it can't be the priest. You have to say something, I, I, stand naked before a throne, saints among saints, and give an account of what God gave you in your life. That's why we say together, I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. do. To my fault, to my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And bow your heads. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us all our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. We sing our Kiri, it means Lord of mercy. In Greek, cry out.
mercy, Lord. We bow our heads and open our hearts for our collect, where we bring all the prayers in this basket, in our hearts, those who are online, but one prayer through the sacrifice and the ministry of the priest. Let us pray. Oh God, you manifest your mighty power, above all by pardoning, showing mercy. Father, bestow, we pray your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promise ears to the treasures of heaven promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please sit with us to God's word. First reading, we read reading from the book of Baruch. We have sinned in the sight of the Lord and have disobeyed him. Integrity belongs to the Lord our God. To us, the look of shame we wear today. To us, the people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem. To our kings and princes, our priests and prophets, as to our ancestors. Because we have sinned in the sight of the Lord, have disobeyed him, and have not listened to the voice of the Lord, our God. He tells us to follow the commandments which the Lord has ordained for us. From the day when the Lord brought our ancestors out of Egypt, until today we have disobeyed the Lord, our God. We have been disloyal, refusing to listen to his voice. And so the disasters and the curse which the Lord pronounced through his servant, Moses, the day he brought our fathers out of Egypt to give us a land where milk and honey follow, have sized us disasters we experience today. Despite all the words of the prophets whom he sent us, we have not listened to the voice of the Lord our God. But each, following the, dedic the dictates of the, his evil heart, we have taken serving alien gods and doing what is displeasing to the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Rescue us, O Lord. For the glory of your name. O oh God, the nations have invaded your land. They have profaned your name and your holy temple. They have made Jerusalem a heap of ruins. They have handed over the bodies of your servants as food to feed the birds of heaven and the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the earth. Screw us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. They have poured out blood like water in Jerusalem, leaving no one to bury the dead. We have become the taunt for our neighbors, the mockery and scorns of those who surround us. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? How long will your anger burn like fire? Rescue us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. Do not hold guilt of your fathers against us. Let your compassion hasten to meet us. For we are in the depths of distress. Rescue us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. O God, our Savior, come to our help. Come for the sake of the glory of your name. O Lord, our God, forgive our sins. Rescue us for the sake of your name. Rescue us, O Lord. For the glory of your name. Please stand for the gospel. We just affirmation. bow our heads as we, before we stand and reflect on the words that are being preached. The word of God says that you who hears you hears me. So we listen to the Old Testament and David is psalmist. We're going to listen to Jesus himself reproaching people who were very closed hearted. Clench fists. Unforgiving hearts. Woe to you. If 
Please stand and work in the gospel. Hallelujah. Harden not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you. With the words of my mind and my lips and my heart proclaim good news. Jesus said to his disciples, Woe to you, Shorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the miracles done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. Mm -hmm. And still, it will not be go as hard as with Tyre and Sidon at the judgment as it is with you. As for you, Capernaum, did you not want to be exalted high as heaven? You shall be thrown down to hell too. Anyone who listens to you listens to me. Anyone who rejects you rejects me. And those who reject me reject the one who sent to me. The good news, the gospel, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word Amen. We said God is a God of love. God is a love of God is a love a God of mercy, but He's also a God of justice. And we don't weigh them. We just think God will always be forgiving, and He is, and He will always, and He cares. But sometimes, seven times He said, "Blessed, blessed," and seven times He said, "Woe," because a father or a parent cannot see a child doing wrong and not correct fruitfully, fraternally, for one's own good. So God is good, and yes, you will wake up tomorrow, but someday, someday, Kongote, your other chance will be your last chance. That's just how it is. You have your free will. God, God gives us free will, but we also are response, R-E-P-O-N-S-E-A-B-L-E. We also are responsible, which means he must give him a, a oomph. You must respond with some kind of gratitude. Not for his good. God don't need our gratitude. God don't need a prayer. God don't need a worship. It's for we good. For a part of salvation, to become ready for that eternal life and that friendship he promises. And that's why today he reproaches, he judges, and God alone can judge. I go to prison all the time, and I always have here, only God can judge. And I like it because maybe... Another one had a big tattoo mark, crime no pay. Well, if crime no pay, how you end up there? But that's a different story. But God judges, and only God can, because God sees inside, and we see outside. So we are not to judge in that way, but you must not judge on, ju on God's judgment. You cannot judge on God's judgment. He says it in the parable last week. He says, I am God. Why are you envious that the man who come last minute could be you? I given him a bligh. You got a bligh at the very beginning. I told you you get employed for so much dollars. You come in the morning, fine. But why are you vexed that I given something that I want to give and you're envious of my generosity? Stop trying to judge on my judgment. You're too competitive. You're building Christianity on a reward system. It's not built on reward. It's built on grace. Today you will be with me in paradise. That's very unfair. At the last moment, at the, 11, the 99th hour, he repented. He was open. And the man went straight. I can't promise you I go straight. It's, it's real up to, topsy-turvy because...
today he's, he's chiding us, he's woe. And remember last week when we saw the guy in the tree, he said, Nathaniel, come, you're a man of truth. You're, there's no duplicity. You know what I mean? There's no pretense. There's no hypocrisy. Some of us pretend. If it's your holy, we look. And that's why I say you have to become like a child. Because one thing about children, they don't pretend. We have learned to pretend. Even church. And that's very important. That's why he says, Nathaniel, come. You are a man of truth. There's no duplicity in you. There's no hypocrisy in you. There's no mocking pretender. You're not a two-tongued Mahabia. You say yes, you mean no. You say no, you mean yes. Come on. If you mean no, you mean no. If you say yes, you mean yes. Stop playing games with me. I'm God. I know your intention. I know why you came here. I know what you want. You only want my benefits. You don't want me. And that is why I said, Nathaniel, you will see angels ascending and ascending. What will you see? And that's why, whoa, whitewashed tombs, he says clearly. The Pharisees like candle and like this. And like, he said, whoa, you're outside religious. You're like a whitewashed tomb. You're looking good outside. Candle and nice green garments. But inside is a bundle of bones. Whoa. Seven times he said, whoa. Be careful. My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your, your thoughts. And that's why for that little part of judging, I close that segment I was shocked when a little child says, Father, why did you not tell me? The worst thing that could have happened to you is your best friend or somebody entrusted to you going down the wrong path. And they're saying, why did you not tell me so? Because there's a sin of indifference. Whatever happened, happened. God will judge. Nobody must judge. You know the person going. You know the alcohol. You know they're going on the wrong road. You know they're going to be an addict. But you say, no. Ezekiel said, you will be held up responsible if you see somebody going on the wrong road and you say nothing. Because evil wins when good people say nothing. And that's why he's making a journey today and a journey to include all. All people must be included. But remember, when you're including people, be careful. There are many people not included, but you don't include their moral issues because everybody included on the part for conversion. And that's why some, some of them cannot take it. He says, you have no faith, you have no openness. I can't work any miracles. He couldn't work miracles because they were, so, they, they, they were so bad and ungrateful and loose and notorious. I can't work any miracles. You have to be open. You don't have to be perfect. You have to be open. But your hands cliff, you clench fists. Your heart have too much unforgiveness. I can't enter. When I come in, I come in big. Your heart too small, boy. You have unforgiveness. You're not open to repentance. And that's why he couldn't work miracles. Few miles away, he worked miracles in Cape Anon. He formed the Eucharist. He preached the Eucharist in Cape Anon. It come like Zaparia. But in Penal, he could not. God needs openness. He can't throw water on concrete. And that's important. So that's why, he, and when he was going, going through this, he told them two things you must do when you're entering the church. I left the church. I didn't leave a Bible. And the church must be missionary, it must be communion, it must be prayerful, it must be full of detachment. You must give to the church, not only suck, and the church must be alive. You can't just be gazing. You have to give something. If the church is boring, because you're boring. I hate people telling me, that is why people leave the church. People leave the church because of you too, not because of me. And if you want to leave, let them leave. But the church will be there. But you are the church. And it's very important the, ch the, the church to have a mission, Mr. Wright said. The mission has a church. You have to know what's serving what. We, are, we exist to be missionary disciples. We exist to be digital missionary disciples. Just today I learned there's something called chat, G what, GP what? GPT. GPT. I don't know. You, you, we have to find ourselves there. So I told Michael, go on key in. What happens if... Uh, Husband horns a wife seven times. And the poor GPT, whatever, kind of answered, give me, um, talk to the man, this one. <laughs> you know, because the GPT didn't come to Trinidad yet. Certain intelligence can't, you can't program it. You have, to, you have to have pastoral prudence. Because sometimes you just can't stay in a relationship if somebody's unfaithful and haven't dealt with it. That means a person can be a sex addict. You can't stay there and take that. You have to get help and do all within to save your marriage, 
but you, um, GPT will well, say, um, talk to him, empathize, and listen, and it's the fifth time, <laughs> GPT, not the fourth time, it's the fifth time. So that's why the church has to be a healing instrument, but a real one. The church heals all the same thing. And that's why the people said not, did not get it. Because they just wanted to suck. And they were, were not open to repent. Jesus lashed them. Judgment came to them. He says very clearly. He says, the things that matter is that the kingdom of God is at near. Right? We are sick. You must be in the mission of healing and spreading the good news. And you must be doing something. But just can't be sucking thing and not breathing anything. And on top of it, not open to repentance. Others will have already, if all the miracles I worked in you, I did it to somebody else, they would have been already in ashes and gratitude. Now you're just taking thing. You're not understanding the spirit of the church. Finally, he says, anyone who listens to you, listens to me, our voice is his. We have the power to participate. That's why when you tell a man who come 8 o'clock in the morning and 12, you should be happy. You are part of the divine life of God. You are part of participating in the divine life. Just working for the church. God owes us nothing. You just imagine you working for Marshall. You working for the church. You working in a divine friendship. What a gift. So that's why he says, whoever hears you, hears me. Especially when the word of God is read and proclaimed. It's not me. It's Christ who speaks. This is Christ speaking through me unworthy. And that is why also, when you come to Mass, you cannot walk in when the word is being proclaimed. You cannot walk in when the psalmist is preaching. I'm, I'm, I'm singing. You cannot walk in when the homily, because that's where God speaks. Similarly for the consecration. That's when there's a, you know, a transubstantiation. When you go to cinema, when you're dancing and singing, you can't just walk in. Like it's a happy old one. You come in the choir and it's along. No, that's desecrating the whole... The, Christ speaks. Christ transubstantiates. It's not about whether you speak well, you inspire in homily. You have to look beyond the priest. Look beyond the bread and look beyond why he's giving you it. Not for your own good, it's for the good of the other and to show some kind of gratitude, you ungrateful people. Because ungratefulness is worse, worse than witchcraft. And that's why the Eucharist is thanksgiving. So when you miss Eucharist, you're saying, God, I don't care. I don't thank you. Lord, give me eyes to see. Give me ears to hear. Give me hands to serve. Give me wisdom to look beyond. Give me heart conducive to repentance. And never say to me, woe, judge, hell. It's coming. It's just part of life. Love and mercy, though it trumps justice, justice exists. Someday, you have to stand before God naked and justice must be served close your eyes it's hard to go on loving ungrateful unresponsive boring unresponsible people who take everything and give nothing suck everything and breathe nothing woe to you and to me maybe trinidad and tobago we could be living in a new tire and sedan there's so much ungratefulness looseness Notorious living, bad worship, close hearts, clenched fist. Lord, never say you woe to us, change our hearts. As we ask God to heal our land, heal this area where we are, heal this country, heal Caribbean people, lands, heal our world. Close your eyes and let God do the judging. He sees inside. If my people will humble. If, if my people Woe to you. would humble themselves, humble themselves and pray. If they see other people are so grateful. Other people are so full of gratitude. And turn from their wicked ways. I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin. 
the Lord will listen. Our hands have to be open. Our hearts have to be a flesh. We have to move away from our loose living and notorious lives. Lord, heal. Lord, heal all of Church, let's fill a fill a pillar of supplication unto our master, our just judge, our loving master. Anyone who listens to you listens to me. Anyone who rejects you, I empower you to be part of this church. I will hear from heaven. And heal and heal your land, your heart, your people. for the Puchon family, Lord, Cecil Ann. Lord bless. We pray for Jared Abbott who has passed away. We hum that quietly that never would it be said to us, woo, alas. Pray for Shanice Macmillan, birthday, Liam Arjun Singh. We pray for recovery and sickness for Judith Scope and Mrs. Hiralal. Thanksgiving for Nick and Afia and Shadi. Lord, heal. Pray for the church on the eve of a new phase in this synodal journey by the presence of the gospel alive and at work. Mm. We hum that while we pray our intentions for synod. Lord, make her like a vineyard in the parable. Lord, be a vital place where all men and women who seek meaning in their life will find a place, a word, and a breath of hope. This church of God be a church after your heart. This Caribbean church, this universal church. Pray for bishops and all participants in the Synodal Assembly that proposals may spring forth from their listening to the Holy Spirit. That the entire people of God in a dynamism of communion may feel that they are truly participating in the divine life of a church and be a living and attractive witness to the newness, creativity of the gospel in the world. Lord, many theologians worldwide, may the gifts of wisdom and revelation accompany their contribution to the work of that assembly so that the gift of faith may become life, real life in all God's people. Young people, Lord, searching and seeking truth and authentic witness, concreteness and spirituality. As a result of this synodal journey, they may feel increasingly involved in the life of a church and a mission in the midst of the challenges of this world, given to so many the enthusiasm of their age, creativity, hope that springs from an encounter with the person, Jesus. And all those who are gathered here in this community in communion, and all those throughout the world gathering, by tasting the goodness of the gospel and the Lord, they will come to each other in the body of Christ. We may receive him in a fresh view to love neighbor and be witnesses to generosity in this world in which we live. And all the prayers of our hearts. 
Lord, heal Trinidad and Tobago. Heal our Caribbean land. Heal Caribbean. Heal Universal Church. Lord, heal our land. And if it was done in Sidon and Tyre, those are bad areas. Heal our land. All the lands, Lord, that you were comparing Shorazin and Bethsa. Keep an arm. Tire and sin were bad, but they were full of repentance Lord, and they're full of gratitude. So much we could thank you, God. If you have done that to other people, maybe they would have repented before we. Anyone who listens to you. And heal our broken land. Amen. Forgive us our sins, Lord. Open more hearts to repentance and gratitude. And heal our broken land. Forgive our sins, Father. Forgive our sins. And heal. Forgive our sins. And heal our broken land. Amen. In silence, we ask God to speak to us. Lord, speak. Your servants listen. Before we go to the altar, we will look beyond bread and wine. Become people of gratitude. Open to conversion. In the church you left. Because the mission has a church. The church has a mission. We must take this broken body now. And this body and throw ourselves to the broken body on the streets in the world. People aching to be nourished. To find an attractive witness. Even digitally. We have our collection. Please give generously as usual for the ministry of the poor and the upkeep of the church. Our collection hymn, all that we have. Hymn number four in the hymnal. All that we have and all that we offer comes from a heart most frightened and free. Take what we bring now and give what we
Pray, brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, and for the good and good of the Holy Church. Lord, grant we pray, Almighty God, merciful Father, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, that through it the well-being of all blessing may be laid open for all of us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Father, although you have no need of our praise, our worship, yet our act of thanksgiving is itself your own gift. And since our praises add nothing to you and your greatness, it profits each one of us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with a company of choirs of angels, we invite thrones, archangels, dominions. With one voice, we all now proclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna. We kneel and that's why it's a thanksgiving God comes to us and look beyond the bread and wine and be full of gratitude and openness to repentance. Unlike people of those nations, Corazon and Bethsaida, woe to you if miracles done in other places, they would have already accepted and repented and believed and given gratitude. Why are we so that God has to reproach us? Lord, you are holy indeed. Lord, you are the font of all holiness. From the world's beginning, you are ceaselessly at work that the entire human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Lord, look upon your people's offering and pour on them the power of your spirit. They may become the body and the blood of your beloved son, in whom we are now called sons and daughters. Indeed, Father, we deserve to be reproached, unbelieving, notorious, loose, and cannot even approach you, Father, but you still loved us with the greatest love. For your son, who alone is just, he was handed over to death and did not disdain to be nailed to the cross for our sake at Calvary. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate a Passover meal with sinners he sat, he ate. He took bread, he gave thanks, he broke it. He gave a blessing. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you, eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. My Lord, my God, my all, I return all. Move your bodies, let not reproach come from the mouth of God. And our lives and our cities and our tongues and our people. 
in a similar way when supper was ended, knowing he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed at the cross of Calvary. He took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine. Once more giving you thanks, Father, he handed a chalice over to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My all, I return all to you. Bow your head, God is present, and let's be full of gratitude. In the midst of our sin, unworthiness, God comes, he visits. He's love and mercy, trumping justice, but he's just for those who are reproachful, those who are ungrateful, those who suck from the church and don't breathe anything into it. Close your eyes and make amends. It could be the last minute for us. And let's make a decision to repent continuously. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Until you come. Until you come again. I invite our bodies to be in a disposition of prayer and worship. Can we have our hands clasped to respect the presence of God in this radical sacramental form? Let's not just be gazing and haphazard. This is Jesus. This is not a symbol. This is a creator. This is God. This is eternity. This is heaven. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover, show his peace. Lord, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, looking forward to his blessed second coming. Father, we offer you a merciful, faithful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the entire human race. Lord, look, compassionate, merciful Father, on those you unite to yourself through the sacrifice of your own son, Grant by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every form of human division and affliction. Lord, be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis the first or Pope in Synod Assembly now. Also, Charles Jason Gordon, our Archbishop. And the Lord help us to work together with gratitude and openness to repentance for the coming of your own kingdom until the hour, Lord, we stand before you, saints among saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, our patron saint, Saint Dominic. Pray for us. And all the blessed apostles and saints, and with all deceased brothers and sisters, our beloved sister, before us here. Eternal rest be granted unto her, Lord. May she rest in peace. Amen. Whom we humbly commend to your mercy. And therefore freed at last from the womb of corruption and made also into a whole new creation, Father. One day we will sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Jesus Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, with him, in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In God's presence now, in this radical sacramental form, we join with him with one voice as we all sing the Our Father, the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven. hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Oh! 
Deliver us from the devil, father of lie, ungratefulness, all evil. Grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin. Father, keep us safe from distress as we all await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power. You said woe to that unbelieving, ungrateful tongues. Just grabbing at you and not have no gratitude and openness to repentance. Woe to them. You said, never say to us, Lord, give us opportunity to respond for repentance. Look not on our sin, Father. Look at the fate of this church. Grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Can you offer somebody sign of peace? Jesus, we have to look beyond the benefits of the Lord. Those unbelieving cities couldn't look beyond the benefits and the reward and see the person of the benefits. Busy with the harvest of the Lord, but don't care about the Lord of the harvest. Look beyond the success. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. May the body and the blood of Jesus Christ keep us all safe for wanting everlasting life. Sing the ancient song of our church, our ancestors taught us in the presence of Jesus in this sacramental form. This song, this song. Soul, my Savior. 
close your eyes and those who receive in communion you build the altar those who aren't come for blessing so My Savior, Blood redeem, sanctify, save. save. Just bow our heads and ask God to give us Him. Give me you. Everything else is secondary. I want you, not your benefits, not your reward, not your gifts, not your healing only. I want you. I want to have a grateful heart. I want to have a repentant heart. I want to have an open hand. I want an open heart. What a gift, Lord. Love and mercy, but someday you'll judge us. Everything else can wait. Everything else can wait. 
So give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. I hope it's not too late. Amen. Lord, give me you. The sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. Lord, praise the Lord and Spirit. May every moment die. Whoever eats my body and drinks my blood lives in me, I live in you. I will raise you up when you stand before me in judgment. I will raise you up. Praise Says the Lord, O sacrament most holy. Oh, give me you. Lord, I need you Lord, and you alone. Absolute you. first. You're not one among many. Lord, You're absolutely prioritized you. to be number one. Seek Lord, first the kingdom. Give me, give me hearts of gratitude. Give me you. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Everything else can wait. It's never too late. Oh, give me you. Lord, I thank you. Never reproach me, Lord. I want to be believing. I want to be full of gratitude and, and openness to repentance always. I want to be interested in you, not your benefits only. Please stand. Give me you. Give me you. Everything else. Like never before, Lord. Our world needs you. World is lost. Woe to this world, Lord. So much. But so much hope. It's me, Lord. Unworthy servant. It's me, unworthy priest. Desire us. Easy to be tempted. Just use you. It's me, Lord. For what you can give. I'm not willing to change and be a disciple, healing and spreading the good news. Give me you. Give me you. And to become part of your church. Everything else can wait. Amen. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we glorify. Be glorified. Just open your lips. Lord, we worship you. Lord, Lord we glorify. And we thank you. We pray for Lord, Sabbath. We pray for the new Sabbath. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Can we praise God? Lord, we praise you. Lord, we loosen our lips, Lord. We unclench it. Lord, we praise you, Lord. Lord, Alpha, you're the Almega. You're all that I require. You're all that I desire. I want nothing else. I want a believing tongue. I want a heart full of gratitude. I want to be committed to the church you left. Committed to the Eucharist, which means Thanksgiving. And Mass, which means go, sent to the ends of the earth and be a witness. Wherever I'm planted, I'll be a witness. Amen. Amen. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Amen. Oh Lord, may this heavenly mystery restore us in mind and body. We may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, in whose suffering we are united to. And whenever we proclaim your death, Lord, we'll live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Just remember this.
Sunday, we have one mass. Everybody is going to Platini. Come here first. The cars will leave you if you want to. Nine o'clock. Big celebration for a small community. We celebrate a feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. Tomorrow is the feast, but we celebrate it on Sunday because that's a patron um, mother, blessed mother's um, feast day for that community in Platini. Okay? Nine o'clock. We'll go live from there. We have everything here. We just ask you, please don't stay away from Sunday worship. You heard the gospel. Let God not reproach or judge us. Keep the Sabbath day holy, find a church. Amen. And we continue to celebrate the Eucharist on the Sabbath, new Sabbath, and Platini at 9 o'clock. Amen. On November the 5th, the other big day, the entire church goes to, to Mon Diablo. We have a yeah. big day where we'll be having Christmas lunch. Okay. Yeah. There's one Mon Diablo on there. Okay. So... It's, some, it's called a Christmas, a country Christmas fiesta. So all the nice old-time food and the bonfire and the breadfruit and whatever, whatever. So come down, have a good time. In what day? Sunday day? Fifth. Fifth Amen. Of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. Amen. Amen. I want to thank all our RCA candidates. Can you give them a round of applause? All of them who are joining the church, considering this earning. And, be, and Paige and her family always here with us. That mother will rest in peace. Thank you for sharing the memorial with us. Is it one year, right? Is it? Nine years? Daniel? Yeah. I think it's one year. Paige, you have to come back to church more often. Eh? Amen. God has been too good to your Paige. And you want mother to rest, okay? All right. Our recessional hymn is Walk with me, O oh my Lord. Amen. Three seventeen in the hymn now. Three one seven. Through the darkest night and brightest day.